So guys, we've got some real sad news coming in today. And the former kickboxer and Westminster's campaigner Barrington Patterson has died after suffering a suspected heart attack and he's only age 56. Rest in peace, Baz. So his wife Tracy confirmed that the charity worker, who's also known as One-Eyed Baz, died early this morning. The former MMA fighter once actually fought Vitaly Klitschko, the current mayor of Kiev, during his short professional career. He turned his life around after being involved in football hooliganism as a young man and was known across the West Midlands for his work to combat homelessness and campaigns against knife crime. Just days ago, he actually shared some of his anti-knife crime work on social media. So his wife Tracy tweeted at 6am this morning, my beloved husband had a massive heart attack. Westminster's ambulance service worked over an hour to save him. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be and our hearts are broken. Westminster's ambulance service operation commander Taft Duggan replied, Oh no, I am so sorry to see this. Such a gentleman, always a pleasure to see him. Sending my best to you and your family. There were a number of other tributes paid on social media. You had a benefit street star D. Kelly who wrote, Oh my God, Mrs. P. Words just won't cut it right now. But he was your world. You were his world. You know where I am. Rest easy, Baz. Love you always. There was another one. Kickboxing champion. Cash the Flash. He shared a picture of the pair on social media tweeting. No words can explain how I'm feeling. He paid tribute to Baz saying, I grew up with Baz in Hansworth and he always loved a fight but thankfully took up martial arts and definitely helped turn his life around. And from being known as a football hooligan, a well-respected champion kickboxing MMA as well as helping the homeless. A true friend who was always willing to help and support at community events. So Mr Patterson was born in Burton-upon-Trent, but he grew up in Answorth. He had earned his nickname after being blinded in one eye in an accident which saw his sister throw a can at him when he was a young kid. In 2006, he shot to fame after he was featured in the television documentary The Real Football Factories, which was hosted by Danny Dyer. Alongside his wife Tracy, he set up Birmingham Homeless Support Team after witnessing a school friend sleeping rough on the streets. As the news of his death broke, Birmingham City FC said the club are saddened to learn the passing of a lifelong blue nose, Barrington Patterson. All of our thoughts are with his family and friends at this time. May you rest in peace, Baz. Keep right on. So guys, this is real sad news coming out because I've actually met this person a number of times. I used to go on nights out. It was uh, Leicester. The nightclub was called Creation and then it changed to Liquid and Envy and I don't know whether it was his firm that ran the doors, but he was always there, always showed respect. And there's a good little story how I got to know him. So in Leicester on a Thursday night, there used to be the student night where all the uni students used to go. And obviously me, not being a student, but my mates were at uni, it was quite difficult to get in. So one of the nights, I went down to the club and the club was going to close. And I went to the doors and I sort of blagged it to the door staff to say, ah, oh, my uh, girlfriend's in there and I want to wish her a happy birthday. So I just thought I'd surprise her. And the door staff wouldn't let me in, but Baz was standing out there. And I had a word with Baz, and Baz goes, you know what, let him in. And he goes, if you're not out in 15 minutes, yeah, I'm going to come and find you. So anyway, I've gone in, and there was no girlfriend. I just thought, yeah, hook up with the lads and that. And I came back out, and I firms him up, and I says, big respect. After that time, any time I went to that nightclub, and Baz was there at the door, I would not need to queue up. He would just basically say, go on, go straight through. That's the type of character he was, and you know what? I'm really sad and disheartened to hear that he's passed away. So Baz, may you rest in peace and my condolences go out to your family. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real. Put up on Crimecast with regards to a British businessman who was shot dead in Mexico after he had some beef with some Mexican cartel members. I'll put the link in the description below so go check that one out.